forces P and Q act on a bolt A determine their resultant. So first natin gawin is gumawa ng free body diagram or FBD. So sa force Q ta tsaka sa force P may X and Y components pa yan. Here's a quick technique para mabilis ang pag-solve when it comes to this. You make a table and tabulate. So, X component, tsaka Y component. Tapos dito yung force. So, X component of our force P is 40 cosine 20. And ang Y component niya is 40 sine 20. And our QX component is 60, 20 plus 25, that becomes 45. So, 60 cosine 45. And our Y is 60, and our Y is 60 sine 45. All you have to do is add both. This is very useful because if napakaraming forces na ang makikita nyo dito, you can just tabulate everything and add. So, summation of all x is equal to 80.0141. Summation of all y is 56.1072. So, let's try moving everything. To get the resultant, it is simply r is equal to square root of the summation of x squared plus summation of y squared. The same with Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, the square root of 80 squared plus square root of 56 squared. And the final answer would be 97.73 newtons. And now to get the angle of the resultant or the direction of the resultant, it is simply theta is equal to tan inverse of the summation of y divided by summation of x. In this case, is 56.1072 divided by 80.0141. That would equal to 35.04 degrees.